Big Boy Heat Sinks, the 64-core AMD Threadripper 3990X Cooler Test. After reviewing the Threadripper 3990X, it was made clear the 64-core slash 128 thread beast from AMD lays waste to every hat part we have ever tested. It's an insane productivity CPU, that we pushed to extremes to torture a few motherboards just this week. Then we thought, why not try out some big bulky coolers as well? To date all our TR 3990X testing has been conducted using a large 360mm custom loop setup with Corsair's Hydrox bits. This allowed us to keep the 64-core part under 70C during an hour-long blender stress test, though as expected temperatures did climb rapidly when overclocking, peaking at over 90 degrees. This had us wondering just how practical air cooling the 3990X would be, especially for those wanting to overclock. As luck would have it, on hand we had four purpose-built Threadripper air coolers from the likes of Noctua, Arctic, Deep Cool, and Cooler Master. For testing we're using the Deep Cool New Arc 90 say case from our VRM test setup, tested under a 21C ambient temperature. We used the Gigabyte TRX40 Aorus Extreme motherboard and the Gooseberry Blender workload to stress the CPU. All fan speeds were controlled via the motherboard using the CPU PWM fan header and with the F4A BIOS for the Aorus Extreme, we've left the normal fan profile active, so the fan curve has not been altered in any way. With those notes out of the way, let's jump into the results and then I'll talk about the cons and pros of each option. Benchmarks First things first, here is how each cooling solution works with the Threadripper 3990X at stock. As expected the Corsair Hydrox delivers the best result thanks to that large 360mm radiator, but we've got to say the gains over the Noctua NHU14S are very small. Just 4 degrees when configuring the Noctua cooler with two fans in a push-slash-pull configuration. The fans were also spinning relatively slow at 1200 rpm. With just a single fan, the NHU14S peaked at 76C. A 4C increase isn't bad even though it was the hottest configuration tested, by a degree. The Arctic Freezer 50TR also performed well and while it was just a degree hotter than the NHU14S, the fans were spinning 50% faster and generated noticeably more noise which we'll look at soon. The Deep Cool Fryzen appears even worse. The fans were spinning 200 rpm faster while the temperature increased by 2 degrees. But the Fryzen is noticeably quieter than the dual fan freezer 50TR. The Cooler Master Wraith Ripper has always disappointed me, it's such an incredibly awesome looking cooler, but the performance is so poor. With the single centrally located fan squealing at 2500 rpm, it only managed to keep the 3990X at 75C. While that's still a degree cooler than the NHU-14S with for more on this story, visit the news article link.